on the sweet will of our Guru Dev, we are still searching for quotes of Chaitanya Chaitamrita in Radharasa Sudanidi. And we came up to verse number 234. And this verse is entitled The Pastimes of a Great Debauchee. So I think we have some idea who could be that debauchee. <laughs> and Shila Anandras Babaji is actually showing us again his mood very clear because we can see that the quotes he is giving and what he is writing in this connection is on the point. So I will start with the quote, that's why it is said. Anyonya Vishuta Brema Korera Sapushti Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Their mutual pure love nourishes the rasa. So Krishna sports with the sakis is also nourishing the rasa. But let us hear the verse in this connection. I know that great debauchee who steals the heart of one gopi, who eagerly lays his hand on the tips of some gopi's breasts, who tucks at the yasmin garland in the braid of another fair-eyed gopi with his flute, who holds the shivering arm of one gopi and who winks at another gopi. But, and now comes the most interesting point, who always rolls at Sri Radha's feet. the pastimes of a great devotee. Srimati is very happy when she sees that Nagararaj is playing different sports with her friends and that he falls at her feet afterwards. The maidservant sees how the king of the Bochis plays with the Sakis by placing his hand on the tip of the breast of one of them, by tucking the Yasmin garland in one Sakis braid, by holding the horripilating vine-like arm of another one, and by giving a hint to another Saki to come and meet with him somewhere in the Kunj. Radhika feels indescribable happiness when she sees how Shyam thus enjoys sweet amorous pastimes and she thinks, can I alone fulfill all of Krishna's amorous desires? My girlfriends like Lalita are equally qualified and they will be able to give him even more satisfaction. 
actually, Shyam is fully satisfied with Radhika. But just to please her, and because he knows how much she loves her girlfriends, he sometimes meet with them also. All the activities of the divine couple, even Krishna's cheating Radhika, by going to her rival Chantravali, and Radhika's consequent heart peak are all meant to make each other happy. The maidservants therefore see that although Shia may play a little with Radhika's friends, he will ultimately roll at the feet in total surrender. That's why it is said, Anyonya Vishuddha Prema Kore Rasa Pushti. Their mutual pure love nourishes the Rasa. Krishna's sports with the Sakis also nourishes his Rasa with Radha, causing him to be more under her control and to desire union with her even more. The word alam, useless, in the text may mean he is vainly rolling at Radha's lotus feet after enjoying with her girlfriends like that. We know what a debauchee he is. This is a statement arising from the maidservant's deep love for Swamini, a strong feeling of mindness called Radha Snehadika. So we can see that actually this is serving the love between Radha and Mohan. So because Mohan is doing such acts, he will have to surrender even more and he will have to endeavor even more to come together again with our Swamini. And we will not give him an easy time, that's for sure. <laughs> because Radharani wants him to be in that state. We just serve Swamini. So in this way, all these aspects actually are serving the deepness, the sweetness of their rasa. And the good thing is that the kinkaris will be always part of this. So it's good to know what to do in this moment. So because I know you don't like this theme so much. <laughs> Ananda Das Babaji also didn't write a lot to that. <laughs> it's a very short explanation. <laughs> Finished already. So we will jump to the next verse and this is 236. Sri Radha, the essence of an ocean, 
of sweet nectarian rasa. Now comes a wonderful other aspect. What to speak of touching them? Madhupati does not even cast a slight glance at his devotees like Narada. He does not meet with his friends like Sridam, and he is deprived of an increase of affection from his parents. He simply worships the pathways leading to the Kunja, knowing that Sri Radha is the absolute limit of love and the essence of a deep nectar ocean of the essence of sweet rasa. He simply worships the pathways leading to the Kunja. So this is the real mood behind behind these Lilas, like we heard before. Actually, he is worshipping the pathways who lead to the Kunj, where he will meet Sri Radha. Because he knows the absolute limit of love is Radha. Sri Radha, the essence of an ocean of sweet nectarian rasa. Commentary. In his external consciousness, Sripat is also deeply aware of his identity as Srimati's maidservant, who is proud of her Swamini's glories. In this verse, he proudly observes how Madhupati, the Rasika Krishna bee, forgets all the other rasas, forgets all the other rasas he may have with other devotees, simply by worshipping the forest paths that lead to the kunjas where Radhika may be coming. Krishna is controlled by the love of his devotees. The ordinary devotees, the Ajatarati Sadakas, have an atomic amount of love for Krishna. Narada and other Mahajans may have some more control over Krishna. The eternal devotees of Krishna in Braj, like Sridham and Yashoda, have great love for Krishna and therefore also great control over him. But Brisha Banu's princess Radhika has the greatest love and therefore complete control over Krishna. How can an ordinary boy remember his home, his parents, his friends, when he is deeply in love with a girl? Similarly, Krishna does not even look upon Narada and all the great devotees anymore when he falls in love with Sri Radhika.
What to speak of the duty of universal creation? Krishna does not even look at his great devotees like Narada anymore. He doesn't have to worry about these affairs. Like universal creation. Esa bara darshanete ache moya ganda, turiya krishnera nahi mayara sambanda. All these Purusha avatars of Vishnu have been touched by a whiff of Maya. But Krishna is the transcendental truth who has no relation with Maya. Then the word Adi in the text means relieving the burden of the earth by destroying the demons. All these things are done by Lord Vishnu's power. Atta eva Vishnu tokkon Krishnera sarire Vishnu tvare kore Krishna asura samhare Chaitanya Charit Amrita So we can understand that like Ananda Das Babaji is giving the example here if an ordinary boy is falling in love he forgets all his duties isn't it? he just wants to meet the beloved he forgets everything else he may even not go to school, <laughs> not do what the mother or father has told them. They will forget everything. And then when the night falls, they may remember, Oh my God, I should be at home. Oh my God. So Krishna is like that, completely innocent. He forgets everything else. He's just absorbed in the games, in the blaze with Radha. And he actually is even looking at the paths who lead to the Kunjas, where maybe Radharani could come. And he's completely bewildered. He is mad in love. So he forgets his friends, all his relatives, everything. And the good thing is, he can do so. The worlds will not go down. <laughs> Other aspects will take care. So he's free to do so. Because he's the careless prince in Braj. He's not the king. He doesn't have any position there. What he has to do. And this is the wonderful position in Vrindavan. He has nothing to do but just be completely in love with Radharani. And this is only in Vrindavan. So Krishna is controlled by the amount of love for him. So Radharani can play with him like this because she has the full amount of Prema, of Mahabhav, of Madanakya Mahabhav.
so how happy he is when he can serve the pathways who lead to the Kunjas, where he could meet Radharani. Because this gives him hope. And we know also in, in our world here, sometimes when we are down without hope, and then some little light is coming and there is some hope that it could go in a very nice way now, then we are enlightened, isn't it? Then we think, oh yes, now the chance is coming. And the meditation of Mohan is like this when he sees the pathways. Yes, there's a chance. I will meet her. What to speak if he meets a kinkery on such a path? Such a pathway with a kinkery gives him full hope. So what a wonderful savor. Even just meditating going over the pathways like Srila Raghunath is doing and Srila Prabhupada I will meet this debauchee and then I will bring him to my Swamini. But only if he is in the right mood. Otherwise, I will bring him in the right mood. <laughs> what a seva. What a future. Just think this is your future. This is our future. So forget everything else, like Krishna. All relatives, all duties, whatever is there, just forget about them and go for the pathways who lead to the Nikunjas in Braj, where Swamini is sitting and we can serve her in so many ways. This is giving light in the heart. This is giving real hope. Because this is the truth. All the other so-called duties, they're actually illusion. Because by the time they will be gone, Unfortunately, we don't feel like that. <laughs> we think, oh yes, we have to keep this house or we have to make everything clean here in the flat or I don't know what, we have to earn money for this and that and we need to do this and that and all, oh my God, and how I can live and family and all these millions of little things. But now comes the point, actually. A little girl in household duties is meditating. When will I have some free time to go and meet this debauchee on the pathways Take him by the hand and bring him to my Swamini. Bring him to my beloved one and serve her 
when I will have time. When the time will come. When will I be reft of all my other duties, so-called duties, and this will be my only shelter. This will be my only savor. Like a girl who felt in love, always meditating just on one thing and doing their household duties. So if anyone wants to share on this or some questions or please do so. Radhe Radhe, can you Radhe, hear me? Radhe. Radhe. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. So it's so nice to be part of this, you know. Uh, it's, uh, um, a few days ago, I was hearing from Guranga Sundara how far away we was, you know, by putting inside of Krishna conception of Bhagavan. We never feel like that. Now we can feel really what what he feels when he's doing during this path. And like you said, uh, this path is giving the hope to him, and I can be part of his hope. So really. To meditate on the Krishna's heart is just from, from the point of Manjari is like the meditating on Manjari. So it's, it's so nice uh, in this connection when you were speaking about mentality of adolescent boy and girl. I remember also that uh, when I was yeah, very young, I have I, I was afraid to go in the to grow up. And I was remember always like fresh, fresh gems. All this moment when I was uh, 10 or 11 or before even. So now you give me again <laughs> this hope. Okay, I can come again yeah, forever in this age. And actually this, this Lila, they're going only in this age and with this mentality and uh, really nothing to bother of other things, what to say, Vishnu or material world. So it's such a nice point and uh, so nice that it, it's revealed to us more and more by this kind of sharing. And I don't know, I'm I'm in depth with you and all of you forever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. We will serve together forever. This is actually what we want to do. Maybe different kunjas, maybe even different Radharanis, but we will serve her all together. <laughs> and we will serve this young boy completely lost in the forest. We will serve him because we know we cannot leave him like this. Swamini will be not happy and we want to make her happy. We have to take him, show him the way, bring them together and give fire to their mutual love. And it's amazing because it is said that giving is more so like 
than taking, isn't it? So if you give to someone, your happiness is even greater than the happiness of the person who receives. Now just imagine, you can give this debauchee lost in the forest, you can give him the highest possible taste of love, you are in this position then. You will make him happy, but more interesting, you will make Swamini happy. And when Swamini is happy, we all know that from experience, at least the trop we experience because of the mercy of our Guru Mandari. When Swamini is happy, the whole existence is happy. Everyone is singing Jai Shri Rati. <laughs> we know this from the water games, for example. When Krishna wins, there is no Jai Krishna or something like this. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> but when Radharani wins, the joy is breaking out. So just imagine this is your seva. And it's not a dream. It's not an illusion. This is the truth waiting for us. It's there already. Service is waiting. Nikunjas are there. Everything there. We just so we are missing. <laughs> yes, we are missing. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message is like you have some, what is called, inserat, I don't know, when you put something in a newspaper, I'm searching for something. Advertisement. Advertisement. We are missing so many mantras. Where are you? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is proclaiming, where are you in the universe? Come over here. Swamini is missing you. So this is Brihad Mridanga. <laughs> yes. This is the message. <laughs> this is the message. Come over here and serve your Swamini. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> Jai Shri Radhe. Actually, the only thing we have to do, we have to see it is possible, it is our nature, it is our natural position. Swamini is missing us. The debauchee is running through the forest, losing his way. Everything is waiting for us. And all this is only possible because of the mercy of our Swamini.
If I should be qualified to do anything like this, I could forget it immediately. But our qualification is the mercy, the Audarya of our Swamini, her generosity. Her love is so generous that it reaches down to the darkest place and in the same moment it reaches up into the highest place of the heart of the highest person. She is giving him the highest bhava possible and she wants us to reconnect with that. This is our Darya Leela. So the drum is going, come back, come back. Your seva, it's still there. It's waiting for you. When will this dull head, this dark heart, accept this feeling and run back? When will this day come? The mercy is there, no question. We wouldn't be here if the mercy would not be there. We wouldn't share on this topic here if the mercy wouldn't be here. Radharani's mercy is there. Do we want it? That's the question. That wonderful girl, Sri Radha, who shines beautifully and most brilliantly like the moonlight because of her new meeting with Krishna. The brilliance of whose golden body always increases who bows her body down out of shyness, but who is also sweetened by bright, who is brilliantly playful, and who is adorned by a beautiful, attractive pearl necklace. That wonderful girl satisfied Achyuta, uh, satisfies Achyuta by offering herself to him. Sri Radha's self-surrender. Although the mirror of Radha's true love is spotlessly clear, still its clarity increases at every moment. There is no end to the increase of my sweetness, which appears in ever new forms before that mirror. 
This is the quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Although the mirror of Radha's true love is spotlessly clear, still its clarity increases at every moment. There is no end to the increase of my sweetness which appears in ever new forms before that mirror. So without that mirror, no question of before that mirror. Krishna himself says, there is no end to the increase of my sweetness which appears in ever new forms before that mirror. Radharani is the spotless mirror of him. And let us go a little bit inside in this topic, because I think it's very important to understand. A mirror in the material world, we know there's glass with silver behind and we can see ourselves. But can we see really our whole self in this mirror? No, just the front. The face. We cannot see our back, isn't it? So the material mirror is not like the spiritual mirror, and especially not like Radha as mirror. So we may think, okay, so then let's take a person who is the mirror of my love. I'm in love, and the person I'm in love is the mirror of my love also, isn't it? But in the material world, is it really that perfect? Who could find in his life a perfect mirror? where you can say, yes, she has all aspects of me fully. I can see it in her. It's shining bright. Or vice versa. He has all this. So who can say? Raise your hands. No hands. I don't see any hand. What's wrong? Ah. In the material world, not possible. So now we may understand a little bit. When Krishna is saying like this, he means every aspect he has is in Radharani fully present. I mean fully. He is not complete without her. Only if he is with her, he can see his own character. He can see his own sweetness. He can see his own whatever he has. Only in Radharani he can see it. Without Radharani, not possible. Now we can understand Krishna cannot understand himself without Radharani. So she is the spotless mirror. And Krishna is astonished how it's possible that I can see myself in ever more sweet forms.
how it's possible because this mirror is the sweetest and she is even more clever than Krishna himself And she has all these characteristics of him in the highest possible form. So now we could have a little a picture of how actually their relationship is. Just from outside. To get it from inside, there is only one way. Because this was now from Sadaka view. There is only one way to get it from inside. Usually you look at something first outside, isn't it? If you want to eat something, you first look, oh, does it look good? Should I try? <laughs> or does it not look nice and <laughs> I don't want <laughs> so first you look outside and then you think oh, okay I, I, I want to go inside I want to, to taste it so now we have to go in our sitatea what means we have to follow the feelings through the acharya's feelings we will enter and then our feelings will also possibly enter after some time and increase. And then we may have some impression. But the first step is always to connect with persons who are there already who have these feelings already. And then we may taste. Like, let's say, you're going to Gurudev in the room and he has some gulab jamun in the hand. And he says, oh, it's so nice, but you never ate any. And then he will say, oh my God, these gulab jamuns, they are so wonderful. You have to try. You want to try? Please try. It's very good. <laughs> and then he's giving you one and you take it. So by his mercy, you will know how is the taste. Without the mercy of a person who has access, you cannot taste it. So someone has to hand this taste to us. How lucky we are that we met. We met such a person or other persons also. Not only one. So it's good to be aware of what we found. Because you only have what you are aware of. What you are not aware of, you don't have. And this everyone knows who lost some things he had before. <laughs> they know what awareness means. That's why we have to feel, actually, separation.
when we feel separation from Swamini and our Seva, then there's a good chance. But if we don't feel this necessity and we are not aware what we got, then no good chance. <laughs> Anything could happen. Maybe even one day you will go another way. But if you are aware of what you have and what you got, and even you are not at the point now, you are not at the goal, then at least you are very aware what you got. And you will go for it. So happy we are that we can actually remind ourselves. Okay, sorry, Gurabani. Uh, just uh, you was reading about this uh, mirror. Is yes. it inside? Inside of the verse 236 or? 238. Ah, okay. Okay, now it's okay. I got it. Rade? Yes. Rade. Yes. Um. Uh, Guru Mani, we hear many times there is only one qualification to have desire, to have eagerness. And you, you also mentioned this today, but does anyone also feel that I, I can't even control my eagerness? That, uh, rather, <laughs> because, uh, I feel sometimes I cannot control which way it will go but when some circumstances squeeze me then the the eagerness and sin and sincerity grows mm -hmm. so it's it's a great obligation to to put on myself how how strong uh, my eagerness will be yes i understand Actually, you are happy. You said only sometimes. I have always this problem. Not only sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the point is, our eagerness will be shown, let's say like this, you are children, small children, small child and the mother has cooked already everything is ready everything is there but you don't know that it's there and you are playing you even forget that you are hungry you even forget it so how you can be eager to take this prasad? Not possible, right? But you can do one thing. You can take the remembrance by your mother when she calls you. Prasadam is finished! Oh, yes, I'm coming. This you can do. It's like a ringing bell. And this actually is your prayer. You pray, please, Mama, can you, can, can you please arrange that my eagerness will grow? Can you remind me? So this we can do. And the more often we do that, the more our eagerness will grow. For sure, because Swamini is so merciful. 
But we have to pray. We have to want. That's the point. We have to pray for it. This is actually the meaning. Because in the sadaka, what you can do? You can pray. You can only pray. And what actually are Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami doing the whole day? What are they doing? Constant prayers. So we can pray. That's the point. That we want it. We cannot really do something that we can get it. But we can pray that we want it. And even if we don't have this wish, and maybe once a year we will remember, then we should sit down immediately and say, Oh Swamini, only once a year, only now. I remember, because today is Radharani's festival day, and now I'm aware I didn't, I, I didn't pray. Oh my God! So please, please help me that I will pray every day, every moment. Please help me that I will miss you and I will pray to you. Please help me. And even that she will hear and she will give you more remembrance. And when you take this spot of remembrance and invest again, pray again, there will be more and more and more. It's a snowball system, you know that? <laughs> a snow prayer system. You know, one snowball is getting always bigger, 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 as long as it rolls, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> It always takes more snow and more snow and more snow. So take more prayers and more prayers and more prayers. And in this way, your eagerness will grow like a small snowball in the snow. So we can say the only thing we have to remember is praying and what we are doing actually when we are doing our sadhana in the morning, what we are doing. We pray to Panchatattva. We pray to our Guru Manjari. We pray to all these merciful aspects one by one. But are we aware about this? That's the point. Are we aware that now we are actually just praying, please, 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 I'm a beggar, I'm just begging now. Are we begging in that moment or are we just... <laughs> so this we can do. This is on us. It's just a little bit, but this we can do. The rest is mercy, 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 and nothing than Radharani's mercy. And even if we have an artas, and even if we are sometimes aparada, not with Radha, or maybe many times. Even if it is like that, anyway, this is the start. We shouldn't care. Like Gurudev said, if the child has made pipi and kaka, it doesn't care. There's the mama, run for it. Go to the mama. Mama will take care. So even we may think, oh, I have an artas, how can I, you know, how can I? No, forget about this. Everyone has an artas, everyone is aparadi, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Be assured. It's not only you, it's not only me. <laughs> I mean, 
accept the great souls like our Guru and other great souls who are already in their Sita Deha. All the others, they are like that. And do you think that Arani will not take care of them? She doesn't love them? Would that fit to the character of our Swamini? Really? Never ever. She is taking care of every living soul. But we have to want it. Why a mother should get you out of the playing room if you don't want? But if you are crying, Mama, Mama, take me out! Immediately she will take you out. So this we can do. This is our sadhana. Again and again take shelter, again and again pray for help every day, every single day. And the best, like Srila Prabhupada and Srila Raghunath, in every moment. As soon as they were in their sadhakas, I mean, they were on the highest, on the top position in sadhaka. You cannot get higher in a sadhaka form. So you could say, why they wouldn't be at ease? I mean, they reached their goal. <laughs> they were not at ease. As soon as they were aware, oh, I'm not in the direct seva of my Swamini. Oh, when, when, when will I serve you like this and like that? And like, this is actually where we want to come in this position. But if we sit somewhere and it's nice weather, nice surrounding, everything nice, we have to eat, everything is good. Well, stay here, it's nice. So that's why sometimes it's very good to have trouble. My best moments in life, I can see now, were the moments I had very big trouble. I mean, really big. Over my head, no idea how to come out. The only way was First Krishna, and now today Radha. When I was standing in front of my house, lost everything, kicked out by my wife at that time, and ended up everything, and my guru in Iskon left, and I mean, a whole bunch of things which you wouldn't expect. Afterwards, I can say, oh, what glorious, what glorious times. This is the mercy of Swamini. If she wouldn't put me in such positions, I would never, ever wake up. Yes, I was chanting Hare Krishna, yes. I knew Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, all these things, yes. But I had a very nice house, very nice family, a lot of cars and all these things, you know, where lullaby you, <laughs> they are lullabying you. 
sleep again. It's still time. Why you should hurry? It's still time. Don't hurry and don't worry. Be at ease. You chant Hare Krishna, what can be, you know? Well, what can be is that life is over and you're still in that mood. <laughs> and then you are in trouble again. So by the mercy of Swamini, she kicked me out of this position. And then I understood, now I got the mercy. I really got the mercy. Because now I have to pray. I have no other chance. I can do nothing. I lost everything. And then in this moment, we realize actually we should always feel like this because then you surrender. And this is the prayer of Queen Kunti. Do you know this book, Queen Kunti? She is praying to Krishna and saying, please, please, go on like this, give me trouble so that I always remember you. Because when I was in trouble, I remembered you and I was taking shelter at your lotus feet. But now, I'm not. So please let me stay in trouble so that I always take shelter, I always pray, I always stay in this mood. And actually, this is the mood of Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati and Srila Raghunath Swami. So don't think everything is good here. I mean, by the way, nothing is good here. <laughs> But we tend to, to close our eyes before that. That's why I don't like to be in this uh, mainstream consciousness of everything is very nice and everything is going on smoothly and everything will be fine and like this. No, you have to see what really is, what is going behind the scene. In this world always, demoniac energies are here and they are fighting to get you. And if you are not aware, they will. Very, very small steps, they will go to you more and more. If we think that we are immune As long we are here, no. But as soon as we pray steadily to our Swamini, yes. Because Mother is taking care of the health, she will make us immune. And then this virus cannot get you anymore. So this is the sadhana. Sadhana means crying school every day, every morning, every day. Best is till the evening. Best is even in bed before sleeping, crying. Guravani, uh, so she will make us immune, no? Through the through the milk of his of her breast. So our our duty is only to take the milk regularly and to cry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because yes. we said before, no, this Brihad Mridanga is already calling us all the time. 
from that yeah. side there is calling when we are crying so then we are in symphony and we are connected i just uh, want to say many times I, i i said that but i remember when keshav baba said that uh, one time he said that uh, mercy is going continuously from the beginning of the creation all the time 24/7 so and and after this lecture he goes out but he came again inside and he said three times make your pots bigger make your pots bigger make your pots bigger <laughs> three times keshav baba mas so it's so nice to to hear all of this big echo of mercy who is calling through the saintly person and um, only in this situation is uh, heart is melting and we are able to cry and to remember of our position yeah thank you so much thank you so much very nice picture you remembering us on that and how we can make our pot bigger if do you have to learn now how to make pots <laughs> build a bigger pot <laughs> just remember what gurudev was telling When you ask Krishna for mercy standing there he will fill your hands right But Swamini will say huh what miser you are give this person a bigger pot and fill it up And hey ho <laughs> So we have to ask the right persons who have big pots. Ask the person who has the biggest pot. Because we are children, we cannot make our own pots. We need to ask someone. So everything starts with our prayers. everything starts with taking shelter sharanagati and where there is one person who is called karuna mai i heard that even this blue boy is taking shelter at her lotus feet so we cannot do wrong if we follow that example and he even says in bhagavad gita to his friend arjuna take shelter at the lotus feet of my one sarvada parichaja mam ekam sharanam vacha aham tvam sarva pape pyo moksha ishami ma sucha and don't care what you did before all your karma and all these things i will take care if you take shelter at the lotus feet of my one i will take sh- i will take care of all that you don't have to worry like a loving father if the child is taking shelter of mama's lotus feet and the child has done a lot of stupid things who will take care of these stupid things usually the father is taking care and the mother is taking the child it 
so we can be assured we are in the best hands. We are at the best breasts. We have the best mother with the best milk. The only thing what we have to do is Mama, take me, Mama, take me. And every morning when you're chanting, if you chant Hare Krishna or your mantras, it's always the same. You take shelter in the aspect of the love, of the mutual love, or in the personal aspects of Panchatattva and Radharani Krishna and all the gopis, sakis, manjaris. It's the same meditation. Hare Krishna Mahamantra is even higher because you take shelter directly in the Lila. Because Hare Krishna is Lila, Lila Rasa. So we have to practice, because actually what we learned in this world is I don't need anyone. My parents, I also don't like them so much, you know, they have strange ideas, <laughs> strange ideas about my life and all this, you know. And I don't need anyone. I have to go my own way and I have to be strong and the less feelings I show the better the better I come through this hard world here so this is the direction today and no wonder that people cannot take shelter Of course, we made bad experience. That's true. It's not an illusion. We made them. But did we make bad experience with Radha? Did any one of you any any time made a bad experience with Radharani? Never. So many times I was ashamed because I thought, yes, in the best way, maybe it goes out like that. Huh? It comes out like that, but then it was even better. And I was, oh my God, she must love even me. Otherwise, how it can be? So we have to learn to take shelter by the right person. And this is actually what Guru Manjari is actually teaching us. Take shelter at the lotus feet of the right person. We cannot do anything, that's the point. It will be done. 
we are the fewer, not the doer. So when it is done by the mercy of Radharani through you, don't think that you did it. That's Maya. Oh, I did, you know, like little children. You see what I did? Huh? Hmm. But actually, the parents did. We are doing nothing, we just wish to do. So wish the right thing, pray at the lotus feet of the right person and everything is okay. Everything will be done. You don't have to do anything more. Pray and wait or pray and see. Pray more and see more. Pray out of your full heart and watch with your full heart. Pray out of ecstasy and be in ecstasy with the persons who are always in ecstasy. So it's a crying school. How to take shelter. And lucky we are when we are in trouble. Really. This is my experience. These are the most glorious moments in life where everything will change dramatically. It doesn't feel good in the, in the beginning, but in the end. And this is proved by Bhagavad Gita. What feels very nice in the beginning and very sad in the end, or very bad in the end. This is called the nature of passion. What doesn't feel good in the beginning, but very nice in the end. What is called? The goodness. Goodness. But we go even higher, not only Sattva, not only Shuddha Sattva, Vishuddha Sattva. Which means we are going in our Sita Deha. Doesn't feel good in the beginning, just crying and <laughs> But in the end, you made the goal forever. You know, Guru Rani, just sorry, <laughs> it just come to me. These pots, what they are? These pots are. These pots are Sada uh, Sida De, uh, our, our Swarup. This pot. So mercy is coming from the beginning of the creation, but from the 500 years ago, it, together with mercy, they provide us also the pot by mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's come just, I mean, these pots are actually 
of Svarupa, to increase the Svarupa. This is the full mercy package. So take as much you can. And if tomorrow you can take more, then take more. And if the day after you can take more, take more. It's there, it will be there. What you can take today, take. That's why we meet again and again and the offer is always there. It's like a, a buffet, a buffet of love. Take what you like. Then you can pray, oh, please, please, let me take more tomorrow. <laughs> let my stomach get bigger. <laughs> Let me digest more. So take more mercy tomorrow and take all you can today. <laughs>